Hey everyone, this is part one of uh, working on uh, getting my grass up and going uh, this season. Last year I had it uh, going pretty good and I uh, wanted to kind of take you through uh, the steps of what I did to, to make it all happen. So believe it or not, it's only been a week since the snow has melted. We've got it greening up uh, fairly decently from the fall fertilizer uh, last year. But uh, there's a few uh, issues uh, you can see right here. Um, you know, a little bit of snow mold and what have you. Um, and it's just not quite, you know, up to snuff yet. So we want to get this ready for our first uh, application of fertilizer, the pre-emergent. This is a cool season grass, Kentucky bluegrass. And uh, anyways, uh, we're going to take you through the, the steps of um, dethatching here and the rest of the processes as we continue. So the tool we're going to use for the job today is this uh, Greenworks uh, dethatcher. It's an uh, electric, plug-in electric model and uh, how it works is it's got this um, spinning bar right here and uh, a bunch of these tines. And, uh, and these rake into the ground and, uh, and pull out the thatch. It's worked really, really good. Uh, it saves your back from having to do it manually. And uh, these uh, tines are just abrasive enough, you know, to dig in and, you know, get a lot of material out, uh, but don't cause as much damage as a scarifier. Now, sometimes a scarifier is the thing to use if your grass is insane uh, or you're doing it mid-season. Um, I like to use this to help get, you know, uh, not only some thatch out, but, you know, just this kind of debris that's down in the grass uh, that's been there over winter and just get it pulled up onto the surface so that I can suck it up with the lawnmower and then it uh, uncovers the space there so my fertilizer gets down in there. So uh, for early spring dethatching, I like something more of a rake style instead of uh, a heavy duty uh, scarifying type style. So let's get this plugged in and uh, I'll show you how it works. She's all hooked up. Um, I'll leave a link for this uh, unit down in the description as well as this extension cord. This extension cord is a 10 gauge. You can see it's nice and thick and for high draw appliances like this uh, a big heavy duty extension cord is a must I think so anyway this uh, this unit's fairly straightforward I like to lift it up off the ground so it's not making contact then you push this button and squeeze the the bail bar right here okay so we'll do that And that's it. You can see that uh, it's pulling out uh, some nice material. Not tons, because I try to stay on top of this, but uh, nonetheless, uh, there's material to be removed. Now something else that uh, I want to insert here that's very helpful in this process is a rake like this. This uh, particular rake is the Groundskeeper 2. I'll leave a link for it down in the description. Now, it's more expensive than your average rake. However, it's gonna be one of the last rakes uh, you ever need to buy. Uh, notice these tines, they're metal. Notice how they have a spring on the top and each individual tine has its own spring. So that means each tine can apply its own amount of pressure and adjust to the terrain based on you know where that particular tine is. The rake also comes with replacement tines, so if you happen to break one, you can replace, you know, just the tine, and you're not buying a whole new rake. So, and anyway, I've had this one for a number of years, and uh, it hasn't uh, let me down, and I haven't ha ever had to replace any of the tines. The awesome thing about this is it does the work for you. Gone are the days of pushing down on your rake. And uh, not only does it work great for leaves and what have you, but uh, it's great for the places that the machine uh, won't reach. So for example, along this rock wall right here, I've got uh, this layer of thatch and uh, snow mold that I wanna 
get out of here. So, one-handed, okay, because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Um, check this out. This rake just kind of goes in and pulls out the material. I don't have to push down on it. Nothing. It just pulls it right out. Again, this is just one-handed. And it just pulls right all the material right out of there. So, anyway, very handy tool to have. Highly recommend uh, getting your hands on one of these rakes. So there you have it. Uh, you can see all the thatch. You can see where I have done and where I haven't. <laughs> now at the moment, it makes the grass look worse than it did. <laughs> if uh, we come down and uh, take a closer look, notice that a lot of what uh, the a lot of the material that the unit pulled up is kind of that dead straw type grass, right? And uh, if we kind of clear it away. You can see that uh, behind is, you know, the green grass. Now you want to let the grass get started growing, like I've done. Just starting to green up. You want to be sure and cut the grass to about um, two inches tall or shorter. Uh, I don't like to go much shorter than two, but anything longer than that really bogs the machine down. I usually just try to time it right as the grass is starting to green up. And uh, you can see all this material. Uh, it's a little hard to see from that perspective, but there's a bunch of chunks and ka uh, that uh, we've pulled up here. Now the easiest way to get this, you know, you can blow it into a pile and then pick it up, rake it. Um, I find it easiest to just go over it with a lawnmower. Uh, one last thing on this dethatcher. You've got a height adjustment on these wheels right here. You just pull it out and twist it and it changes the height of the wheels. I personally do it on the lowest setting just because it digs in just a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, your mileage may vary, so experiment with that. This unit is amazing. Uh, it does such a good job. I don't mind fussing with the cord, you know, for a unit that I use, you know, once a year. Not a big deal. Uh, and the price can't be beat, and the power is awesome. So, anyway, uh, let's bust out the lawnmower here and uh, get this cleaned up. Now, I just got me this uh, Makita um, lawnmower. It's not going to be a, a full review here, but essentially it runs on two uh, 18 volt batteries. Okay, there's spot space for four. It runs on two at a time, so I've just got the uh, two of them slotted because I don't have very much to, area to do. Full metal construction, single handle height adjustment, uh, which is really nice. Um, so you can just come over here and one handed adjust it up or down. Uh, you can do a side discharge. In this case, we're gonna bag, so you gotta pick up all the thatch. It also has a mulch plug if you wanna mulch. Nice rubberized wheels. And then a very simple uh, bail bar here. This controls your drive, uh, your self-propel. This little knob right here adjusts the self-propelled speed. You can lock it onto a low blade speed to stay quiet your power button obviously, and your battery monitor. Excuse the sniffling, I have severe springtime allergies. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get this uh, mess picked up. see chuck full and that was just from that little bit so anyway let's go empty this and we'll be back nice 
there you have it. Another nearly full bag of grass. <laughs> Let me take you over there so you can see. So as you can see, uh, it picked up the grass really well. Uh, now we're just left with, you know, a few stragglers here or there. And if you want to go over it a second time, I've never done that personally. I've just used it once and sucked up the clippings and called it good. And it's worked well for me. So let's uh, contrast this to a little while longer from now. I'm going to do a, a fertilizer treatment here probably tomorrow. And then uh, we'll get some rain and uh, we'll see what uh, what this yard looks like. Incidentally, any of the tools that uh, I've used, uh, whether it be the lawnmower, the rake, the extension cord, the dethatcher, all of those I bought with my own money. Uh, nothing has been sponsored or anything like that. These are just the tools I have and they work great. So anyway, thanks for joining and uh, please uh, consider uh, subscribing and liking this if you like this kind of video, and uh, we'll catch you next time.